Okay, here we are. Winner of that second round again. We got Mitch Davies beating Len Anseth. Um, big match. Yeah. This is what uh, the showcases we're looking for. 357, 338. Um, big win. Mitch walk us through there. Yeah, I mean, he just knew Lenny was going to come out like a buzzsaw like he normally does, like I went over before, and he uh, he's obviously given me a taste of my own medicine many times, so it was uh, it was just mentally grinding, like he threw a couple corners early, I was able to take advantage, he had one open frame, one bad frame where he went 5-5-5, five, 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 and I was able to just capitalize on that, and then coming down to the end, I knew that Lenny could have a chance still to win the pinfall, so I knew I needed the first two and ten, the first one nine, the first two and ten, to shut this out, and uh of course, he goes and bangs out and shoots 338. Like, I just know what he's going to do. Guy's a stud. Yeah. It was a great match. It was good to see him. Like you said, um, you know, if I think if you would have thrown a chop off in 11, yeah. then it would have been enough for Len to have that Absolutely. opportunity. But you, you banged out and a huge match for you. Um, you know, obviously come a long way. Now we got two matches under, so good yeah. job. It's uh, called this a success. Next up, we're in the semifinal. We've got Tim Wiseman. Yeah. Thoughts on playing Tim going into there? Obviously another big, big opponent. He's got the hometown crowd here. Um, how do we feel playing Tim? I've been playing two guys that are giving me all that I can handle. So I just I just expect that again. I expect this guy to give me everything he's got. It's it's his center again. Uh, his ball is conducive to the shot as well, uh, to the center as well. So um, I feel like Tim's gonna come out hard. He's gonna come out fast, and you know I just have to play my game. That's it. Just keep playing my game. We'll get through it, and uh, hopefully we're two two wins away from victory, and just get through it. Yeah. Well, and that's what you say. Is that you know you gotta play your game. You're the one that people are looking to play against now because you've had two big games. You yeah. you beat Dexter, and then you beat Land with a big 350. Yeah. Um, you know guys are looking, and Tim Tim's you know won his matches, and not in score but in frames. So the the format has benefited him for sure. Um, but you've got uh, a lot of things going. So. We're looking for fireworks. Good luck. We'll uh, put on a good show. That's what we're asking for. Yeah, thanks, Daryl. I appreciate it. Good job, man. Thanks, man. And here we are back with hometown player, <laughs> Tim Wiseman. You got the win. Yeah. Uh, you beat Derek all. Um, obviously a, a tougher match um, mm -hmm. from Derek's standpoint. Didn't play really sharp to begin with. You had to capitalize on the moments allowed. And uh, at the end of the day, you got the win. Su super uh, fortunate, like I mentioned in a pregame interview, throws a lot of strikes. 100% strike with percentage. Everything else was in the uh, middle hit, right? And even though he beat me in total, I, like it was it was over after seven and, and he strung bunch of strikes together that's Derek Derek's very good like that yeah. and uh yeah, super, like, yeah, super good. It's uh, it's an experience thing, I think, that players will only get better as they keep doing this. Right. Playing under the lights, playing with cameras, playing yeah. with bleachers, um, adrenaline and nerves. We've seen over the day that have gotten to a couple people, so. Yeah. Um, we got Mitch Davies. Yes. Yeah, thoughts on playing Mitch. Obviously, he's a horse. Wow. He's a national yeah. champion. He plays a ton of tournaments. He's had, you know, a 357. He's, he's beaten Dexter as well. Um, you know, thoughts about playing Mitch. Definitely big shoes to fill to play Mitch, right? And tell the player you have to be on your game. You have to take advantage when when he opens. Um, I played him in Invitational this year. I beat him in Invitational, so there is a little bit of confidence there. But again, Mitch is the best, one of the best there is, right? So you have to be on, on top of your game in order to beat him, right? So yeah. So is there anything specific that you're going to go and say work on now in the next little bit to, before warm up and get things going and get your your, your timing down, or what's, sure, what's, yeah, what's the game plan? Yeah, it's a little bit off, a little bit. Sometimes I push, right? And, um, so I'll try to get the first step a little bit slower. Sometimes adrenaline's running, you're just trying to trying to get under control, right? But yeah, and then it'd be nice if you throw a couple of strikes, because then maybe the adrenaline works for you in a positive way, right. in, a, in a you know getting right. loud or getting aggressive or what that looks like. For sure. Instead of uh, having to calm it and you know. Always, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm well, looking forward to it. So. Well, it's good. It's good to see you're in the semifinals. Yeah. Keep going. Keep putting on a good show. Awesome. Thank you very much, TV.